Good music for Lagos. 102.3 Max FM. When we get EPs early in the year, mm-hmm. uh, later in the year, there's usually, you know, uh, an album after. So do you have, you know, album plans for the year 2021 after this EP? I know, you know, the EP just dropped, mm-hmm. the fire is raving. You're like, you know, let's let the fire burn and all that. But, you know, is there an album plan, you know, somewhere, you know, this um, year? For me, I just say, you know, stay, stay tuned, watch out. Because um, <laughs> I just dropped this EP and I'm really like, pushing fire is burning and just keep the fire burning. But, okay. you know, if, 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 if I feel like it, I drop it. But for now, I'm just focused on this Jovi EP. Alright. Okay. So while recording, which particular song of this EP would you say that the recording process was the most mentally draining? Like that when you're recording, you're like, ah, I don't die. Ah. Which one? Insane. Insane. Why is that? I wrote the verse three times, <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't like the, the two verses wasn't good, but I, I wanted to push myself to see mm-hmm. what you know, because it was the last song I recorded on the EP. Yeah. Oh, seriously. Yeah. Wow. When did you know that you were going to do music full time? At what point in your life did you know? Did you become fully aware that you know what? I can actually pursue this thing because you're 23. You said when you were 20, 21. That was really early. 19. That you see. So come on. So at what age did you now know that you're going to pursue this thing full time, especially as you were a teenager? Um, for me it was back in 2016 after like my fifth, I think fourth jam. Mm-hmm. I went down five times. It didn't work. For real? <laughs> yeah. Five, five times. times. Five times. What? Wow. I worked out of Gozamo in New York. I was writing my pushes here, and I worked out of Gozamo to pursue this music thing. You know? But for real, I want to go back to study music business. You know? hmm. you know, so, sure. so like this now, you don't have a BSc. Nah, I, but I'm rich. <laughs> yes. Ah, energy. Me that I have BSc. Look what, at me. What, what I do, like, look what, at what me what now. Yeah, you get what I mean. But I definitely go back and get my BSc for music business. Yes. I don't know more about the music business now. So, what is your most embarrassing? Fan moment. Hmm. I don't know if I, I don't know if, I don't know if I should call it embarrassing. You know, I don't know, but I was at I was at the airport mm. and this girl she was working with her boyfriend or so, mm. and I was my manager. I was trying to sort out like our passport stuff and that, and she just left her boyfriend and hugged me like and just left. I was like. Ah. <laughs> I was like. Good day, good day. At what point would you say, as a music artist, are you fulfilled? You know, within your career, like you know, what's that thing that you feel like you would have done uh, within the music industry? And you feel like, oh, you know what, I'm for sure. You know, I should just retire. <laughs> uh, it's huge. It's huge. Like you know, for me, I want to see um, I want to see an appropriate artist on um, Grammy main stage. I want to see in like um category for Afrobeat like on Grammy as well. Like, mm-hmm. for example, best Afrobeat album, oh. best pop. Afro pop song on Grammys, you know, mm-hmm. I want to see an Afro beat, you know, artist, right yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to see an Afro beat artist on BET main stage as well, like, so those kind of things. I want to see an Afro beat artist too on Super Bowl, like, those kind of, like, P, that's when I, okay, I'll say, yeah, yeah, we don't try. So, what is that feature that you can give anything to have? Hmm. That music, whether dead or alive now, mm-hmm. let's not restrict it. That feature that you say, if I have crayon this featuring, featuring so so person. Can I be two at the same time? <laughs> okay, yeah. right, let's go. On the same song, you know. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's say crayon featuring Drake and Bad Bunny. Oh. Bad Bunny, okay. that's the um, Spanish guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Nice. Is there a challenge, you know, going on you know, for this EP person? Mm-hmm. Like any song, maybe Jackpot Challenge. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so um, as, um, um, Jackpot Challenge. Okay. Yes, oh, um, boy. Okay. Um, there's two Korea challenges as well. Okay. Oh, okay. You know, okay. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on coming. Like you know, more, the one I'm really like excited about, like um, two Korea's video we just shot like two days ago. So so coming out really. Who shot it though? Coming out. Yes. Wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> what's your word out to the fans though? You know, you, you, every single time you always, you know, got something you want to say to them. You know, what's your word out to them? I want to say big, big thank you to, you know, everybody that's welcomed me through this journey, that has stayed up for me, you know, through this year of my career. Like, I'm so happy. Like, I'm, I'm short of words. Big shout out to Korea and me. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Jack bought one million streams on audio, audio mark. I'm really appreciated. Like, crazy. Just, for a week, like, I think it's up to a week, though. So, yeah, I'm really <laughs> happy. God bless you guys, man. Keep streaming, totally on EP. You know, big shout out to Max FM as well for showing me all the love and support. I love you guys. Nice. Yes, I love that. when I die. I love. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> all about that love, man. You know, what's up with that? <laughs>